Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTablesDamber.com. Today is video number one in a three-part series, and we are doing this birthday piggy stamp -a stack This is a mega stamp -a stack Anything that does more than nine cards, ten cards, I call a mega. And this one is going to give you this mega stamp of birthday cards. <laughs> There's 13 cards in this packet. Packets are available while supplies last. They're optional. Of course, you can cut your own kits and follow along with us. Now, we're going to start with this stack right here. This is our card number one. This is a Wonder Recipe number two stamp a stack. Or I should say this part is Wonder Recipe number two. And our Wonder Recipe number two makes six cards. But to keep it exciting, I did some very simple little switches. So the card base for this one is Bermuda Bay with a crushed curry reinforcer. We used the scooter pig. This one is crushed curry with a Bermuda Bay reinforcer and we used the happy place pig. Otherwise the card is exactly the same. But doesn't this keep a Wonder Recipe number two stamp a stack nice and spicy? So this is the Wonder Recipe number two. You'll find this printable on the blog. Just click through to project details where it says this little piggy um, stamp a stack project details. Click here. And we're going to go get into our kit and we're going to choose our designer series paper for the Wonder Recipe. We'll start right there. Taking my kit apart a little bit. <laughs> and done some of the multiple step things ahead of time but we're going to go through and of course you can choose any pattern you want but choose one that you like both sides this one would be really awesome pattern both sides are amazing um, we're going to go with the polka dots and on the back of the polka dots is a wide stripe so that we're going to cut according to our wonder recipe and then we're also going to grab this sheet with the clouds now this is the um, celebration uh, rainbow paper this is not available anymore in the kit you get a quarter of a package of this paper that's no longer available enough to do all of your cards and have some amazing paper left over to play with all right let's first cut our paper according to wonder recipe number two for wonder recipe number two we want to make sure that since our stripe is definitely a directional pattern we want those stripes to run vertical not horizontal we're going to put the stripe side and we're going to grab our paper trimmer and cut all right, it's a simple wonder recipe. We're gonna cut our paper at one inch all the way into six one inch strips. What I like to do is cut my one inch strips and I'll do three of them. Now I've got my three one inch strips. I'm gonna set this one aside for just a second. I'll stack these guys and then I'll pop this back in and cut two and a quarter. And so I'm just gonna really gently cut through these three pieces. You might go back and forth to get them, but it'll cut all three at once. So there's our first three cards. These will go with our crushed curry or our Bermuda Bay. Now let's do the other three for the rest of the design. And you can do these two at a time if you want to also, if that makes you feel a little more comfortable cutting two layers in your trimmer, or you can do them all one at a time. I just, um, the, the Stampin' Up! Paper Trimmer will take the three layers of designer series paper for such a short little cut. I wouldn't cut the whole strip in two layers, or in three layers, I would cut only in two, but that's up to you. I've got no problem doing the three. So I'm going to take the next three and now you'll see this time I'm going to cut them from the other side. So my two and a quarter inch piece is going to be a little different for this set than it was for the other. You want to use a light touch when you're doing more than one layer and if you're uncomfortable don't do it. We don't want you to ruin your paper. So a light touch and then maybe go back and forth. Now so I've got this one that has the so saffron crushed curry or polished pink and then the pool party but if you look at this two and a quarter inch piece it's polished pink and 
crushed curry, so saffron Bermuda Bay. So just a little different between each of the cards. When you stack those up, you get a really cool, I think, kind of party paper. All right, so there's our pieces. Now the next thing we want to do is cut your clouds. Now if you got uh, the cloud punch that works with this, it's from the annual catalog, or you can fussy cut your clouds and you want to keep them all every little bit because we're gonna use even some of these little partial pieces. It goes off the edge here. Everyone's a little bit different, you'll see as you look at them. Some are cut off this way, some are cut off like this one this way. Just cut all the clouds out of your paper and don't worry about them being partials because we'll work them into the design. I'm just cutting these out with a punch and as I go, I'll trim away the excess so I can get that cloud right back in the punch again. And I'm gonna do the whole page. I might separate by you know which side is cut off and which ones are whole so that when we're doling them out for our cards, we can pick and choose based on which side it's cut off and what pattern is there. All right, that's it. I've got my all my clouds punched out. Got our designer series paper for each of the six birthday cards or go to your happy place and stay there cards. Let me show you the difference there in the sentiment. And now we're going to get our card bases and just separate those out. So I'm gonna start with my um, go to your happy place. These are the crushed curry card bases. And you'll see that your cards come cut and scored for you. We don't fold them and we don't do any stamping for you. That's not allowed. But um, I'm going to just pop some of these designer series papers. You'll see that I've mixed them up using some with the um, pool party and some with the Bermuda Bay pieces. And my clouds are different patterns. Some are cut in half. And so I'm gonna just kind of dole out the pieces for each card right now and do that organizing. All right, now my cards have one piece of each size designer series paper in the envelope. Now I'm gonna choose some clouds. We want one that's maybe half cloud for the bottom and then one that's cut off on the left or on the right for the top. I got two different patterns there. I think I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that for one of them. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. I've got a half a cloud here, but it's the rainbows and I don't want upside down rainbows. So I'm gonna put those, that one aside because I don't think I'll use that piece for this particular one. I might use it on a different card down the road where a half a cloud peeks out somewhere else. So just throw that back in your designer series paper. You might use that half a cloud somewhere else. But for this one, we're gonna take our cloud that is cut off on the right-hand side here, and we're just gonna take a scissor. We're gonna make this one kind of a half cloud with hearts. And then I'm going to take another cloud here of a different pattern and place it. All right, so there's another pair. And I like to mix and match the patterns as I'm going. And now I've got two done. I'm gonna do this for all of my crushed curry cards and Bermuda Bay cards for this design. One of the things that I will do is I'll take patterns that don't have a direction, like these little plus signs, the little suns, and I'll cut them in half and use this as two clouds for the left side. And then I'll pick something different for the right side. Say maybe this splat one, and or you know what, let's do this. Let's do the rainbow and the hearts because they have a direction. So now there's two more pairs and I'll pop those into one of my envelopes. Now I've got my Bermuda Bay and I'm gonna put this pair of cloud bits in there. All right, now let's work out another one. Another pair. 
All right, we've got this large one with the rainbow, the partial rainbow, and we can also use partial clouds. So we're gonna use that one from the left, something different from the right. There's another pair. We're up to five. We need one more pair with what's left from our bits here. And so I think we might try this one. What if we did only a part? Mm, might not be long enough. So I'll take the sunshine one. I'm gonna cut the sunshine one this way. And this one from the other side. So now I've got another pair. And you'll see that I have a couple of little cloud bits left over. Just throw them in with the paper. You never know when a cloud bit will come in handy, especially when you're using rainbow paper. Got a few more pieces of pattern paper here. Those are for my Bermuda Bay ones. So let's get one of each size in the Bermuda Bay. And now we have done our one sheet wonder and our clouds. Our designer series paper is all done for six cards all in one step now let's do our background stamping and you can see from my kits yours are going to come to you in the card kit flat and ready to go and the this is how your card kit will come to you if you get one of the optional class packets all your cards are cut and scored you get an envelope for every card we don't do the stamping for you or the die cutting that comes with the feature bundle. We pretty much do everything else for you. We're going to add just a little bit of background texture here, and you can use whatever you like for that. I chose this little square of like crosshatch from Sweetest Cherries. If you've got the Christmas Scotties, it's got that beautiful Scottish plaid. There have been lots and lots of little square or rectangle bits of backgrounds in stamp sets over the years. So find one that you like, and let's do a creative background stamping on each of these. I did crushed curry on crushed curry and Bermuda Bay on Bermuda Bay. Let's grab our crushed curry here. And the sweetest cherries is photopolymer. I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Pierce mat. We're just gonna stamp this two times. So we've got a little rectangle background, anything of your choice. And just follow along about maybe one, and a, one inch from the top and three quarters from the left. And you're gonna do that one portrait. And then same thing, ink up, now turn it landscape. And over here you're gonna do maybe three quarters from the bottom, half inch from the right. It's not exactly centered. And then you'll do that for each of your crushed curry cards. Burnish the score lines and stamp the backgrounds. Oh, make sure they're not upside down. <laughs> All right, then you're gonna switch out background stamp of your choice, Bermuda Bay card base, Bermuda Bay ink, and do the same stamping. So now I've got all of our designer series paper cut for six cards and all of our background stamped. Let's talk about our piggies. I'm going to use a scooter pig on the Bermuda Bay ones, and I'm going to use the Happy Place pig on the Crushed Curry ones. In your card kit, you have half sheets of basic white cardstock, polished pink too. We'll get to the polished pink in just a minute. Basic white cardstock. We're gonna do memento ink and stamp our piggy three times on the scooter, three times in the happy place. Now I went ahead because I'm stamping a stack and I did, I did two happy place pigs ahead of time and two scooter pigs ahead of time. We're gonna do one of each right now together. Got the little scooter pig here. And I love the idea of the confetti. I'll be honest with you. And you can keep it on if you want to, if you love it. But when I ink it with memento and then color it, it doesn't have a lot of pop. It doesn't have, it's very memento. It's very black. And so I'm not going to keep the confetti part of the image, but you can if you want to. I'm going to color it die cut it and then I'm going to just 
trim off the confetti because it didn't look as colorful as I wanted it to. And so you can choose what you're gonna do there. I'm gonna stamp it, color it, um, color everything but the confetti and trim it off. I got our little happy place pig. Now let's bring some stamp and blend markers into here and get these guys colored. My pig is flirty flamingo and I'm using some dark basic black for its hooves. I'm going to go ahead and color both pigs and what I did was lay down a nice heavy coat of light flirty flamingo. I'm going to fill in with circles and just really get a good base coat on my pig. All right, so we've got our base coat on our pig. Then I'm just gonna take a touch of the dark flirty flamingo, draw a circle, put a little on the snout, a little bit in the ear, and then take the light and blend it together. Very super simple. And I'm gonna color my other pig the same way. Now, for the stamp stack, you're going to make 13 cards, which means 13 pigs. So, if you're following along on the video to make maybe one card, this is a good idea. You just color your, your pigs as you go. But if you're doing the entire stamp stack, if you've got the kit or if you cut your kit and you're following along with me, I would stamp all 13 pigs. I would color all 13 pigs and then all the scooters that I wanted scootered and then all the dirt that I wanted colored and then and I just do each marker for every image that cuts down on your uh, picking up and putting down the markers it cuts down on um, you know the time that it takes to stamp the stack I'd stamp all the pigs I needed first then I'd color all the pigs then I'd color all the scooters then I'd color all the flowers and it'll really cut down your time on a stamp a stack so for this one if you're doing the stamp a stack you want and it's just like mine you want three of the happy place pig and three of the scooter pig and the little hooves are going to be dark basic black. All right, now I'm gonna do my scooter. And my scooter is light Bermuda Bay. And I'm just gonna color that in. And I didn't do a lot, I guess I can put one of each of these here. I didn't do a lot of blending. Um, it is a 13 card stamp a stack at minimum. You're going to have a bunch of the designer series paper left so you could keep on going with the same designs, um, layouts, and just keep making more cards. So I kept the, the coloring pretty simple. And these, and we're just going to color in with light for me to bay. And now my scooter wheels. I'm going to do some smoky slate let's do the headlight with a little bit of dark and then i'm gonna go light smoky slate this is about the the cheeks in this is about the only shading i'm gonna do light smoky slate do the hub caps we'll do the rear bumper everything that's gray all at one time i've got my daffodil delight combo pack here we're gonna do everything that's Daffodil Delight at the same time. I'm going to take some dark Daffodil Delight and do the centers of my flowers. And then I'll switch to light Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to do the headlight and the tail light on my piggy. Got some light pool party here. I'm going to do my pet flower petals with the light pool party. I'm just coloring in some granny apple green here. I've got light and dark. It's up to you if you put any shading on these leaves. I don't think you really need. Uh, let's see. Let's go on to our scooter wheels. I've got light basic black here. Do the wheels and the seat. Don't forget the seat. Oh, when I had my Daffodil Delight, I forgot to do 
the top of my sign and do that little ball at the top of the antenna there with the dark daffodil delight. Then for the ground, I'm using um, SU300, such a nice brown. And we're gonna just do circles underneath the wheels. And I'm going down low so that when I die cut this out, this brown, this ground will go all the way to the bottom of the die cut. So just keep going a little bit further than you need to go, think you might need to go. All right, same with this little dude here. Color in the ground, go a little bit lower than you think you need to go. All right, there's our coloring for our pigs for this round. We've got three of each. Let's die cut these guys. There's just a couple of days left on these perfect partners. This is the um, pig, Playful Piggy Dies, and it coordinates with the birthday piggy. They are a special item, only available for a short time here. And we're going to use a lot of the dies in the in the Stampa stack. There's our little scooter pig, and we've got our little happy place pig. We're gonna grab the bandana, because our little happy place pigs are gonna wear a bandana, and that's where we'll start. Let's do that die cutting first. To make the die cutting a little bit more efficient, I'm just gonna trim out my two piggies. And this is what I would do if I was stamping a stack of them too. You've got one of each of the piggy dies, but you've got the bandanas and the flowers and the leaves and the grass. So I put as many on for each pass as I could do. Let's get these guys cut out. All right. In your kit, you're gonna have a bag of scrap cardstock. You're gonna need your Bermuda Bay and then one of the garden green for leaves. One is for grass, one is for leaves. So one for leaves. And then you'll need that full um, half sheet that I showed you earlier for your flowers. Now I like to cut this down into smaller strips so that I can run, so I can run more things through the die cut machine at one time. So I'm gonna add my little strip and my bandana. I'm gonna add my Piggy outline and get that one all set up. My happy place piggy. Got those. Now for each card, you're going to need a set of the flowers and the leaves. So we'll run the leaves and flowers with that and give that a crank. So every time we cut out a piggy for a card, we're also cutting out flowers for that card and a set of leaves for that card. Now the one thing about this little piggy die set, there was only one leaf in the set. So I'm gonna slide these off of my machine here and I'm going to run a second pass with my leaf. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run all of my flowers and all of my leaves, I've already pre-done some of my pegs, and we'll put together this card. I need three flowers for each card. I've got six cards, and I have enough flowers for one. I need two leaves. All right, so we've got our flowers, our pigs, our bandanas cut out. These flowers are going to be the best embellishment for any card and look at the cute little detail that cuts in every petal and every leaf. Now the grass border is our next die cut item and this die set is going to be so much fun just for the flowers, the grass, and the wagon. The wagon's coming up. If you're on the fence about this one, take a look at it again. It's just such a really good die set and it's only available for a very limited time. All right, we've got our second piece of granny apple green from the kit you had one that you used to cut your leaves now this piece you're going to cut in half inch strips you're going to need 10 half inch strips for your card kit and that is going to be your little grass border all right if i'm doing this stamp a stack and i'm doing all 
13 cards. I'm gonna do this step for every one of my cards all at one time. And if you feel comfortable with it, you can stack them up and do two at a time. So I've got my two half inch strips, my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I'm gonna lay the strips on the die cut machine here. I'm gonna just run this little grass right across. Let's see here, get my little stack solid and then add a little bit of tape so that it doesn't move. Crank this through and I'm gonna have two strips of grass from one crank through the machine. So here's our little grass. Now you wanna be careful because one side is grass and it looks like little blades of grass. But the other side is really round. It looks more like green goo. So you want the wider side of your strip to be the grassy side. We'll just pull these two apart and you'll see. So this side does not look like grass. It's got some really round bulbousy. Now that's green goo for your Halloween projects. This is your grass and you want the wider side of your die cut to be with the grass attached to it. All right, so we've got one and then this one will be two. You see a cut through nice and clean for both pieces. All right, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do that two more times. So I have one for each of the six cards in this design. All right, so now we've got our grass, we've got our pigs, we've got our flowers. Let's get our cards here. And we're gonna do our tag for each card. So inside of your envelope, you'll find a tag and a reinforcer. Be very careful when you're emptying out the card kit, that reinforcer, sometimes the envelope likes to eat them. Well, you're gonna have a crushed curry reinforcer for each of the Bermuda Bay cards and a Bermuda Bay reinforcer for each of the crushed curry tags. And these were cut ahead of time for you if you got the kit using the tailor-made tags dies. So let me show you that. This, if you're cutting your own kit, is the largest of the clip corner tailor-made tags and then the little D enforcer. I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of these together and then tie all of my bows. So I'm gonna do a bit of liquid glue. All right, there's my little reinforcer. And in your kit, you're gonna get a quarter of a spool of polished pink open weave ribbon, almost a half a pack of brushed brass butterflies and half a pack of pearls. We're gonna take this ribbon and tie a bow. We've got about, allocated about nine inches per bow, but what I would say is to get the best use out of your ribbon always, uh, is to leave the ribbon on the spool. If you follow me, you know that this is how I do it. I always leave the ribbon on the spool. You're gonna push the ribbon from the front to the back and then loop up, swoop over the top. You're holding a little space there. You're gonna tuck the tail that you swooped over the top where you're holding that space and then pull. So loop, swoop, tuck and pull. And if you do that, then every time we're gonna need just a little bit more ribbon, you'll get a perfect bow, ears up, tails down and you won't waste any ribbon. Now let's just face it, Stampin' Up! Ribbon is beautiful and it's perfectly coordinated and usually they have unique and gorgeous textures or patterns, but it's not cheap. So I like to tie on the spool so that when I cut away, there's absolutely no waste. Every bit of ribbon is still intact there and good to use. And then all we have to do is fix the end, the angle on the opposite tail and that's all the ribbon that we throw away. So just a little tip on how to get the best and the most from your ribbon. I'm going to do all the rest of my tags. So five more. The 
Bermuda Bay ones are going to get these crushed curry enforcers and I'll be right back to put these together. All right, so we've tied the tags on all of our bows after we've adhered the reinforcer. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment for the cards. In your kit, you've got this little cutout. It's like a, um, a wooden sign. It is one of the pieces from the Piggy's dies. We did cut that one for you for your kit. And I've got a combination of go to your happy place and stay there all day. And this little piggy says happy birthday. Bermuda Bay ink. And get all of these little wooden sign like pieces these basic white pieces stamped with a greeting of your choice all right we've got our pieces all stamped now let's take the grass that we cut out and the polka dot piece we're going to run a little bead of glue along the back of your choice you could do it on the polka dot piece or on the edge of the grass but the grass is going to grow up from behind our polka dot piece. Once you've got that glued down, you can slide it to get it to start and stop kind of where you like the pattern. And then we'll trim it away. There's our little grass piece. All right, let's start assembling some of the layers here. I love that we're gonna start to see these six cards now come to life really quickly. We've got our tag and our designer series paper pieces. We're gonna start with those. We're gonna lay our tag down with some liquid glue. And you want it to be, I lined it up so that a little bit of the um, background peeks out here. Lots on the upper left. And I'd say it's maybe about an inch from the bottom, three quarters from the side. And then we're going to add our designer series paper, leave room along the top edge because we're going to slide the cloud underneath. And you want to leave maybe a scant quarter of an inch of the tag showing. Then the second piece of designer series paper, we're going to use the other side this time. However you like that to peek out. It's going to be a little tippy and fun. Now our cloud pieces. Got my little full cloud here, but it's gonna go all the way off the edge of the card. So just don't bring glue all the way to the edge. Then our half cloud, this one's gonna get tucked underneath the grass. There's our cloud, so you can flip over the card and trim off the excess with your scissors. Just cut right along the edge of the card from the back side. Ah, isn't that cute? Next, our piggy. Got our little piggy here with that we colored and die cut and here with liquid glue. Tuck that right under the edge of the grass too. Ha ha, so cute. Now the bandana, little Bermuda Bay kerchief. Isn't that just so cute? It's coming right along. Let's grab our sentiment and some dimensionals. I'm going to pop that on. I'm going to use some minis. And we've made these awesome little flower embellishments. Let's go ahead and add them. Little dot of glue right in the center because some of them are going to get some leaves tucked underneath. We'll put one above our banner and then two kind of floating up remember that to leave some space for the leaf for little bits like this if you get too much glue just touch the two pieces together and make them kiss Mwah! share the glue and then our sweet little leaves just a touch of glue on the back be careful not too much glue because the detail on the leaf is cut you don't want the glue to ooze out from behind the leaf. Just a little tiny dab, that's all you need. I'm gonna slide the stem underneath the leaf or underneath the flower. So just lift and tuck. Yeah, let's go this way with this one. 
so cute. We're almost done with this design. We've got some embellishments in our packets. And got lots of pearls and some brass, brush brass butterflies. <laughs> They're gonna add a ton of amazing texture to your card. So we're gonna add, I don't know, I think I like a big one and a little one here on my tag. And then we're gonna mix up the different size pearls. I'm gonna do a big one and a couple of little ones on the centers of the flowers here. And that is our card. Now, the difference between the cards is that instead of the laid down piggy, like we have on our crushed curry card, we're gonna do a little scooter piggy on our Bermuda Bay card and arrange the butterflies just a little bit differently. But there it is. You're gonna make six copies of this amazing card. Let's go ahead and put together our Bermuda Bay. Very, very similar. I wanna do one more copy with you too so that you can see a little bit different in the, in the clouds that we have, a little bit different sentiment. It's exactly the same card and exactly the same procedure. All we did was change the focal image. So we've just reversed the colors of the card base and our reinforcer. Change our focal image and you get such a neat and interesting stack of cards without a whole lot of work on redesigning. All right, let's add our designer series paper, use that same fun angle, our half a cloud, tuck it underneath the grass, and then our full cloud, don't go all the way to the end. Everything is really exactly the same, but you get such a great variety in your Stampa stack. Bring in our little piggy, the scooter pig. Oh, let's do the one that we did today because I want to show you. I did, this is how you your piggy cuts and then I did just cut off the cloud. It's up to you if you want to see if you can um, work that in. I felt like it just looked kind of like a cloud of black. There wasn't enough opportunity to add a lot of color to that cloud and then it threw the balance. So I love this little guy, just how he is. We'll put him so that he's going off the tag just a little bit. I don't want to cover his wheels entirely. Cute, cute. And then we're going to flip, trim off the excess of the cloud. This little piggy says happy birthday. We'll pop that up with some dimensionals again. A couple of little minis. We've got our flowers and leaves. We'll add them the same way with some liquid glue. We've got a little too much. Move in kind of quickly with a dab of glue on the leaves because we're going to slide them right underneath the petals of our flower. And let's embellish. This time I'm going to put my butterflies here and one of each size again. And then for my pearls, I'll take a medium size and a couple of small pearls for this one. Mixing and matching the sizes of the flower centers really gives you a nice variety and texture. All right, so this design makes three. This little piggy says happy birthday. And three, go to your happy place and stay there all day. We have done the first six cards, the kitchen table stamper, this birthday piggy mega stampa stack. If you've got any questions, reach out marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Our next video, we'll be making three of this little piggy says happy birthday with the wagon. This is video number two. There's a video number three in the series where we'll make enjoy the ride. If you've got any questions, reach out marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to see if there are still awesome this birthday piggy stampa stack class packets buzz over to kitchen table stamper.com slash shop and to shop stampin up 24 7 buzz over to marissa alvarez dot stampin up dot net click shop
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in video number two.